So now that it's fall, I wanted to do a makeup tutorial inspired by fall and purples and browns and kind of mix them all together and see what happens. So I hope you guys enjoy this look. It was requested a few times last year and I didn't really get around to doing any fall looks so I guess I'm doing it this year. So I hope it's still okay. I hope you guys still like it. Um, thank you for watching and I hope you guys enjoy the tutorial. Ciao! <clears throat> so... I already applied a standard base just to, you know, get my eye ready for the shadows and creams I'm going to use on top. I'm going to begin with using my Revlon Quad of Cream Illuminance Shades, and I'm going to take a mixture of these two, these two, right here. I'm going to begin with that, like, kind of, like, burnt pinky color, and I'm just going to apply that all over... And then taking that brownish color, I'm going to apply that on top to kind of darken it out a bit. Okay, so the first color I'm going to take is from a Mineral Fusion Trio. It's just a purple that is very dark and has some sparkle in it. You can find this anywhere. I just love this trio so much. So using a Stila number 15 brush that looks just like that, I'm going to take that purple color that's so pretty and I'm going to pack that on top of my lid and on top of those creams that we just applied all over. So. Start from like the lower, I mean the um, eyelashes, and then just work your way up and just pack it out. Pack, pack, pack. And then when you get to the top, begin to tug a teeny bit. Just like so. Okay. The next color I'm going to take is going to be my crease color. And for that, I'm going to use my MAC quad that I personally made. And I'm using Sable. I love that eyeshadow so much. I use it a ton. Um, I'm going to take that with a Sonia Kashuk crease brush, swirl it around, and we're going to apply this right in the outer corner crease area. You want to kind of go up higher and wider than you normally would because this look is so dramatic. But we'll be blending and everything later. So this may look kind of messy to you right now, but it's going to look a lot better in a second. I'm going to start taking Shroom, which is a sparkly nude shade from MAC on a highlighter brush by Posh. And I'm going to start to blend and kind of, you know, smudge out these colors with it. Just like so. So now we have our highlighted brow area, but we also have our blended out crease and lid area as well. Okay, so the next step is going to be applying liner. I used my MAC pencil liner and engraved, which is over there. And I used a Stila Smudge Pot in black on my lower lash line. And then for my mascara, I'm going to put Buxom Lash on. So I'll be right back when all of that is done. And I'll show you what I'm going to put on all over my face. Okay, so 
I have applied my mascara and my eyeliner, so now I'm going to move on to my cheeks. Now, my cheeks are naturally very pink. In fact, underneath my just tinted moisturizer, you can still see the, um, my cheeks' natural pinkiness, I guess. So I like to use colors that are a little bit different than, you know, my natural pink. So I can wear something, but it's a little different. So I'm using Cargo's Tonga. I'm going to get this on a blush brush by Posh. And I'm just going to apply that really lightly on my cheeks. It's a really nice fall kind of pinky color because it's like a darker pink. Darker pinks have a lot more of a warmer tone, so people tend to use them more during the winter and fall. For the lips, I'm going to apply my Clinique lipstick in Spiced Apple. And then... Bon Belle Lip Gloss in Raspberry Sorbet. It looks like this. I think it complements this look a lot. So, that is what I would wear on my lips as well as my cheeks. And now you guys know how to do the eyes. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know what you think in the comments. I will talk to you guys in the next video. But until then, have a fantastic week. Ciao!